Hi Aries, welcome to your Spirit Guide Messages for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So let's see what Spirit wants to tell you at this time. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective reading. We're going to get three messages from each Oracle deck clarified with the Tarot. So take the messages how you feel they resonate for you. Every message may not be for you. We may get one huge message, several small messages, whatever needs to come out will just come out. So this is what Spirit wants you to know at this time. So I hope everybody's doing well, stay, stay, staying safe and healthy at this time. Welcome, everybody. If you're new and like to check out my channel and uh, like what you see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. You get about four to five readings a month. They're all different. So check that out. And Aries, uh, you can check the description box below for all the information that you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, tons of stuff down there, so please go check that out. So this is a general collective reading, so take it how it resonates for you. So we're going to get started. Messages from Spirit, what you need to know at this time. What does Spirit want to tell Aries at this time, please? Thank you so much. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective. Three most important messages at this time for Aries. This is healing with the fairies, so maybe we will get three messages here, maybe something uh, you need to heal um, in in you, around you. Okay, so I'm going to pull them all first, and then we'll see what they are. So I get three from this deck. This is the mermaids. So let's get three for Aries. The three most important messages for Aries spirit, please. Thank you so much. What do you want to tell them at this time? Well, we got two right here, so I'm going to take those. One more for Aries. One more for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Male or female. General Collective. What is the one more most important message? I'm feeling that one. Okay, and we have the Magical Unicorns next. So let's see what the unicorns have to say. So this is sort of like a mystical, magical reading this time. We got unicorns, fairies, and mermaids. So I thought that'd be kind of fun. And then we'll clarify with the rider weight for you for Aries. Three most important messages for Aries at this time from Spirit. What do they need to know? Show me what I need to see. Oh, that's way too many. Way too many. Three most important messages for Aries Spirit, please. Thank you so much. One, two, <laughs> asking you shall receive. Three. All right, let's see what we have. From the fairies, we have oh, something about sexuality here. So that could be um, being comfortable with your sexuality, being comfortable with a potential partner about your sexuality, Coming to terms with your sexuality, whatever that may be for you. Not to, you know, don't be afraid to embrace that part of you also. That's kind of what I'm getting with that. And don't be ashamed of your body image or, you know, that energy either. And we have it, be honest with yourself. So it's time to be the true you, not to be fake around other people. Uh, be honest with yourself and others. What do you truly want? What do you truly need? What do you truly need to heal in your life? And we have trust your intuition. So some of you really needing to pay attention more to your gut feelings, your intuition, your higher knowing. And that could be about anything in your life. Um, when it comes to decision making, when it comes to a certain person, place, or thing, or situation. Always trust that first instinct, that gut feeling that um, intuition that you have. Some people ignore that and then they go more over the logical thinking, let the mind get in the way, which um, is kind of like your ego. So needing more here to trust uh, to your intuition about um, decision making, people, places, and things around you. And you know, purple to me is always about manifesting. So if you're trying to manifest something in your life, um, whatever that may be, and you're not sure, if you should, if you shouldn't, are you on the right path? I think this here is to tell you that you are on the right path and to trust, trust in the process, a trust in your intuition. 
So let's see what the mermaids have to say. We have mother healing. As, as your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. So if any of you have had mother issues with your mother, could be, you know, mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, or, you know, um, stepmother. It could be you as a mother. Something in that energy um, needs to be healed. I do see, you know, children there. So however that means for you, it's time to look at whatever the situation is for you. Maybe time to now heal that, make amends in some way, shape, or form, or just coming to terms with certain things and just accepting it for what it is and forgiving and healing so that we can move on and manifest new things in our life. And we have divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. So just know that whatever... You know, if some of you are trying to manifest something here, whatever your situation is, maybe you're giving up a little bit, you know, of hope. You're not sure, you know, what the outcome will be. You're not sure if you're going in the right direction. You know, what's going to happen here? I think it's divinely guided. It's divinely protected. Um, something may happen. Uh, you know, you may get a message from somebody. Some, you know, person, place, or thing. An occurrence may happen that is like out of the blue, unexpected, and all of a sudden it turns in your favor. And it's like a miracle. So just know it's uh, divinely guided or protected. It's probably going to take time. It's, you know, just let it be. Just let divine work its magic. And trust. Trust in that energy. I'm kind of getting like the Wheel of Fortune energy. To trust in like divine timing, fate, destiny. Whatever's meant to be will be. Just go with the flow and just trust. The, the divine order of things. And we have here protection. You, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. So just know that you, your family, uh, are protected in some way, shape, or form. If you've had worries about you, your family, or situations, uh, finances, or whatever here, they are protected um, by you know your spirit team, your angel team. Trust in that. Uh, passed over loved ones, ancestors. Um, there is protection there. And don't be afraid to reach out or seek protection in some way, shape, or form. If you need to get extra protection for your house or for your family in some way by getting like extra security in your house and you're debating, oh, I don't know if I want to do that, you know, it could also mean that also. So keep that in mind. But it says it's safe and protected by heaven. So let's see what the unicorns have to say. Share. When you share, everyone feels happy. So this is telling you to be... Um, more on that energy of equal give and take, sharing, giving, receiving. Um, so maybe you need to share a little more of your time with others or resources or whatever here. Or if you have a knack at something, uh, a craft or a hobby, or you make something, maybe it's time, you know, in this time and period in the world to share more with the world, especially if you can make things for uh, what's going on right now about sharing more of your gifts, your time, your talents, your wisdom, whatever that may be. We have exercise. Run, walk, walk, swim, or otherwise move your body. This will give you more energy and happiness. So some of you need to get out there and exercise a little more. Take better care of your health. Get outside in nature. Wish upon a star. Make a wish and expect the very best. And I feel like this kind of goes along with divine magic. Whatever you've been wishing for, I think it's been heard. And just, you know, have faith, hope, and optimism. The star energy, you know, it's faith, hope, optimism, which is dreams coming true. Um, divinely guided energy. So just expect the very best. If you put your energy out there to the divine, to the universe, to source, whether it's through prayers, manifest manifestation, laws of attraction, it's been heard. So you got the star and divine magic. So it's kind of like the same energy. Okay, so let's clarify these energies for you, Aries. Let's clarify these energies for Aries spirit, please. Thank you so much. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective. What is this sexuality about? So we have the high priestess and we have the world. You know what? And I do see a naked female here. And I do see the high priestess. So I feel like you've been very secretive about your body image. 
maybe when it comes to partners, you know, getting an image of like putting the lights out and, you know, not really wanting to like reveal yourself. Maybe you're very, very shy, quiet, you know, um, when you're intimate. But, you know, the world is about, you know, closing cycles, starting new cycles, growth, expansion. It could be about traveling, you know, space, distance kind of energy, closure. But the high priestess, you know, is can be an energy of being very quiet, kind of keep it to yourself. So I'm kind of feeling here, um, this also could be like the World Wide Web, something online. But I'm kind of getting this feeling of it's time to close out this cycle this um, pattern that you might have had about like low like self-esteem with your body, your sexuality, whatever that means for you. And, uh, you know, time to embrace who you truly are. Start, you know, a whole new cycle of the new you. Just embracing who you are and uh, accepting it. And not being ashamed of it either. Okay, so that may not be for everybody, like I said. Only take the messages that resonate for you. So let's see here. Uh, what does this be honest with yourself about? For Aries, please. If it's not you, I mean, it could be somebody, your partner, somebody um, you know, or something like that. You know, like a partner or your significant other of some way. Maybe there's distance between you right now. All right, so... What does this be honest with yourself about? So we have the Ace of Swords. Well, if that ain't honesty, I don't know what is. And here's conflict. So this is conflict, competition, people butting their heads in. But this is divine clarity from Source with the Ace of Swords. It's truth, clarity, aha, moments, epiphanies, like awakenings. Um, using the sword to cut away energy. If there's conflicting energy around you, it's time to be honest with yourself. Do I really need this conflict in my life here? It may be time to use this sword to cut this energy out, whatever it may be for you, person, place, or thing. And it's time to be honest in this situation. Do I really want this struggle day in, day out? And this is standing up for yourself and not backing down with the Ace of Swords, telling it like it is. Truth, honesty, open, honest communication. Also, I feel like you may have a lot of people around you that you either don't see eye to eye with or a lot of conflict, you know, about person, place, a thing, situation, could be work or something here. And I feel like it's just time to cut that energy out, like just tired of the bickering and arguing kind of energy is kind of what I'm getting with that. What else here for trust your intuition? So we have the three swords. What else? Why is that here? Three of Swords. Well, that's way too many. Trust your intuition. Okay, so what I'm getting with this, if you feel, because we do have the Devil here, which is toxic energy. We have Heartbreak here, or Heartache with the Three of Swords. But then we have something better here with the Ace of Pentacles that Divine is trying to give you. So if there's a situation, person, place, or thing, situation around you, you kind of sense it's toxic energy. It may not be good for you. You may get hurt in the long run, whatever that may be for you. Just trust your intuition and gut about that because there's something better that divine will bring in for you in the future. So I feel by trusting your intuition on something here that you feel is not good, a, you know, person, place, thing, whatever it is for you, because I do see a lot of heartache here. It's something very toxic. Trust your intuition on that because Divine Source is ready to hand you something else which is much more, much more stable, grounded, secure. It could be um, growth, abundance for the long term. It could be, um, you know, maybe a job you're in now. You know, you really hate it. You don't like it. Or you're not sure you have a bad feeling about a new job you're accepting or something like that. And you don't know whether if you should accept it, but just know there's something better. There is something better out there for you, whatever whatever it is for you. Work, career, a person, anything here. There is something better. So trust your intuition about that. Okay, so let's see what Mother Healing is about. So we have the Wheel of Fortune and Temperance. Wow. So we have two cards of Sagittarius here. I usually don't mention signs in these readings because either just these are just messages. So this could have to do with a Sagittarius. Maybe your mother is a Sagittarius. You're a Sagittarius. 
but this is the Wheel of Fortune. So I see here by healing a situation, because this is peace, harmony, healing, balance, being patient in a mother situation. Like I said, it could be you as a mother, a mother figure, someone that's been like a mother. It could be like an aunt that's been like a mother, or an older sister that's like a mother. Anyone that is a mother figure in your life, whether your mother or not, whoever that is for you, or it could be you here. But by healing, you know, this energy here, having patience, balance, peace, harmony, and a situation here, fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in the right direction, things will get better here if we start to heal the situation, whatever that means for you. Okay, so that wheel will start to turn in the right direction once we bring in peace, balance, harmony, and patience. And then the wheel will bring in better things for you to come in your life overall in general by healing this issue, whatever it is for you. Because it says manifest more rapidly and the wheel will bring into you whatever you're trying to manifest more rapidly. All right. And that's two major arcana. So that's something major here for some of you. So divine magic. What is that about for Aries? Divine magic. Eight of Swords of so being kind of mentally trapped. Yeah, kind of stuck in your head. Wow. So whatever your situation is, I see you kind of stuck in your head. And you're thinking the situation is done. It's over. It's not going to happen. Whatever it is for you. But just know that there's magical, because it says extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. So you're thinking trapped in your head. Okay, this is over. It's done. There's, you know. It's no hope, but there is hope because divine magic is here. So whatever this is, a miracle will happen that will release you from thinking this is over and being trapped in your head. So, so I don't think whatever that situation is for you, I don't think it's over quite yet. And a miracle is about to come in. Yeah, see, we do have the Hierophant. So this is, you know, faith, hope, spirituality, religion, staying committed to the journey, um, doing what's moral, just, and right, value. So here, yeah, something, and this is like Source saying, this is divine magic coming in. All right, so, just trust in Source. So what is this protection about? So we have the Eight of Wands here, which is about travel. So if, if you're going to travel in the future and wherever you're going or whatever your situation is and you're worried about the safety of this travel issue or something like that or of traveling, maybe, you know, you're scared of flying, maybe, or something like that. Or maybe, you know, you have to use your vehicle and it's not the best and you're worried, I don't think my vehicle is going to make it or whatever situation here. I just want you to know that Source is saying here that everything will be fine because everything is safe and protected because it says you, your loved ones, and possessions. And there's something about travel here. Not sure about traveling because worried about safety for some reason. Maybe it's a long um, like road trip or something like that or flying overseas and you're kind of worried, is it safe? Here's divine source for me, the queen of swords, coming in with truth and clarity, energy. Divine intervention to say, yes, you will be traveling for some of you and just know that you will be safe, protected by heaven. And this is my divine source, the Queen of Swords, truth, clarity, kind of energy. So that's what I'm getting with that. All right. Some of you may be flying because I do see clouds and birds there and you're you know, terrified right now, either because of the uh, current pandemic. And I know we're all not traveling now, but once it's lifted and we start to travel again, you know, maybe there's uh, a vacation or a business trip or, you know, something where you had to have to put it off. And once you do, you're worried uh, about this traveling. But uh, just know here, like the Queen of Swords has a sword up, will block any energies uh, just to let you know everything will be safe. So that may be a significant message just for a few. So however that resonates for you. So let's see what this share is about. When you share, everyone feels happy for Aries. So here's being strong, confident, courageous, and brave. You know, being strong enough to share. Yeah, 
because Nine of Pentacles here is being wealthy, abundant, secure, stable, and grounded. Uh, very independent, having everything you need. So very strong energy here. Uh, being, being very independent, having everything you need, can take care of yourself. You have plenty to share with others. So just know that others may, well, I don't want to say depend, but uh, don't be afraid to share with others whatever your resources are. All right, so let's see here. But be careful, too, because with the uh, strength energy, is kind of like taming the beast within. So don't be taken for granted either. Uh, if you need to set up boundaries with people that are just taking too much, don't be afraid to do that either. But don't be afraid to share with people, whoever, places, communities that you feel are really, really in need and could benefit from your uh, abundance in some way, shape, or form. But yet setting healthy boundaries so you're not taking for granted either. All right, so what is this exercise about for Aries? So we have the Emperor and the Four of Wands. So, you know, the Four of Wands can speak of the home. As you see the home here and the Emperor, you know, someone, and that's your energy, Aries. <laughs> so this is telling you, you know, you're sitting at home, <laughs> just sitting there, sitting around doing nothing, and uh, it's time to get up and start exercising. You know, we're all kind of quarantined, stuck at home. So I see a lot of you here are stuck at home, and you see these people outside celebrating, having a good time. So maybe go, if you have a family, go outside, do some outside activities, have some fun, uh, whatever here, instead of just sitting inside and being bored and just sitting there, uh, watching TV or whatever here. Um, go out with your family or if you're alone, just go out, have some fun, exercise, uh, get out in nature, go for a walk, you know, just walk around the house, uh, do something active. Time to take control of your situation here with the Emperor Energy. That you can control your environment, your own environment. All right, so let's see. Wish upon a star. Make a wish and expect the very best. What is that about for Aries? Knight of Cups. So we're moving forward in something here. And the Five of Swords. So you could be feeling like something is a losing battle. Um, maybe it's time to give up a fight for something. Because the Five of Swords can mean energy of like fighting for something, but thinking it's a losing battle or feeling defeated in the situation. But you're trying to do it from a place of love, compassion, um, kind of energy moving forward. So if you think something here is a losing battle, losing fight, it's not worth fighting for anymore. It's saying here, you know, to keep that faith, hope, optimism, especially with the Knight of Cups, keep moving forward in, from a genuine place of faith, hope, optimism, peace, happiness, joy, uh, love and compassionate energy. And just keep going on because I see, you know, with the star energy and we have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So here is, you know, stable home life being abundant and prosperous, happy home and family, legacy of a family. So don't give up the fight yet because I do see many blessings and expansion and growth, prosperity, wealth coming in, whatever that means for you in some way, shape, or form. So don't give up hope on a situation. Just keep moving along and expect and wish upon a star and expect the very best. Okay, Aries, uh, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.